I wonder how many of you have ever ridden on a roller coaster. Have you ever done that before? Some people have, some people haven't. It's kind of crazy. They go very fast. They're like a train on the tracks, but they use gravity to help them go up and down over the hills and even sometimes upside down in loop-de-loops. So we're gonna make some roller coasters today and you'll need some things for that. You could either use a piece of yarn like I've got here. I stretched out as long as I could reach with my arms and cut at that length. So I've got a piece of yarn and that will be the easiest. But if you don't have any yarn or thick string that you could use, another thing that you do have in your toolkit is a jump rope. And that's kind of like a long string and it does work. The only problem is it's plastic so it's maybe a little less bendy than the string. So find yourself a piece of yarn or your jump rope and we're going to make some roller coaster shapes on the floor. Okay, I'm kneeling here on the floor and you can see my piece of yarn is stretched out from left to right. We can stretch it out quite a ways. We're going to design our roller coaster so that it goes from left to right. But as you know, roller coasters can have big hills and deep valleys and big bumps or little bumps even, or they can even do loop-de-loops. So we're going to design our roller coaster so that it does some of those things. Let's see, I'm going to start high. It's going to come down a big hill and then we're going to put some bumpies at the bottom. But then we're going to go up one more big hill at the end, even higher than before. Okay, now I'm going to trace it here, but as you know, when people ride a roller coaster, they love to put their hands up and scream and yell, woo! -hoo! So if it's up high, let's use a high voice. We can put our hands up high and use a high voice. But if it's down low, we're going to make our low hands low and our voice low, which means if it comes downhill, we have to go high to low. Woo! -hoo! But if it goes uphill, we have to go from low to high. Woo! -hoo! I'll trace it and you use your hands and your voice. Here we go. All right, let's make another one. Let's see, this time we're gonna start low and it's gonna go up a big hill and then come back down, but we're gonna do a loop-de-loop -loop at the bottom. off at the bottom. All right, I'll trace this one. This time we start low. Use your hands and your voice. Here we go. Loop-de-loop. Nice. Okay, now it can be your turn. Use your piece of yarn or your jump rope to make a roller coaster with highs and lows and see if you can trace it with your finger and follow it with your voice. Now, if you're using your jump rope, that could be a little tricky because, like I said, the jump rope kind of holds its own shape. But that sort of already makes a roller coaster of its own. Check it out. Or you could design it to do fancy things like all twisty. So design yourself a few roller coasters and see if you can follow them with your finger and your voice. Highs and lows. If you've designed a really fun roller coaster. I'd like to see a picture of it. So take a picture of it and you can send it to me on Teams or through my email.